Hey, Super Mario Land. It's the... I'm free. This You're was the launch title. This was the Mario-based launch title. Mario-based? For the... This isn't even a Mario's based on Mario? For the... For the Game Boy. Uh, it features things you might remember from the original Mario, like not being able to run backwards. There's like a B button that makes you run. But the controls are so imprecise that you almost never want to run because you're just going to kill yourself. I disagree. The Goombas I say that look the weird. The controls are more precise than other Mario games. It's weird that the blocks are like kind of smaller than Mario. Um, and he's really like kind of. The, the air control is just not what it is in other Mario games, is the thing. If you. Yeah, it's just. I'm like moving the D pad right now, like I'm wiggling it. Um, Keith, he's a big proponent of this game. I am, yeah. I was expecting him to, to, to play this game. Oh, give me, give, but me, give me, if you were expecting me to play it. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, because you keep talking about how good you are at it. I don't talk about how good I am at it, I just talk about how I like it better. So, in this one, instead of fireballs, you have super balls. Are these not fireballs? No, they bounce. They're super balls. A fireballs bounce? Well, they bounce once. I mean, sorry. What? The... The fireballs bounce up and down until they hit something. The super balls bounce off of anything that they come in contact with. I missed that. Well, that was silly of you. I agree. Um, this game's greatest uh, triumph is that the music that you're hearing right now is, is the best. The best Mario it's music the best heard. Mario music. It's really good, right? It is really good. I fucking hate those bugs, by the way. Um... This game's just really weird. It, there's just it doesn't quite follow Mario conventions quite right. In some instances, it makes sense. Like the one-ups are hearts instead of mushrooms, just because you can't tell different colored mushrooms on a Game Boy because it's just green. Yeah. Um, but this isn't. It's not a Miyamoto game. It was made by a just a janitor. Someone. Yeah. Fuck. Well. I guess I should look up who made this, huh? Sure. Because yeah. I think it's like... God damn it, who made this game? I don't know. Mimoto's weird cousin. Part of me wants to say that it was made by Gunpei Yokoi, but... That sounds crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> but just because of the name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, was, it wasn't made by Yokoi. That can't be right. Uh, yeah, just don't... The game just doesn't play right, and hey, granted, it was a Game Boy. Like, they they were working with what they had. Picture with a Game Boy, uh, a, a Game Boy Mario game, and then a Game Gear Sonic game. <sighs> Come on. That's, that doesn't, that's... Yeah, it does, though. But Mario was made on 8-bit systems. They were, it was made on something way more comparable to a Game Boy than, like... Hey, why were you going for that fly flower? I wasn't. Oh, okay. I thought you claimed to be like a master of this stuff. I hate this music. I like this one. I used to not like it, and then I changed my mind. This all really confused me with the Egyptian stuff. Yeah, Though, I never understood why they had... But there was like even a... There's even a... Uh, like a... Uh, I mean... What's the Egypt temple thing called? I can't... Pyramid. I, pyramid. God, I couldn't remember the word pyramid. What's wrong with me? Um... There's one on, like, the front screen, even. So Keith is playing right now, if we weren't yeah. being clear. Um, I the, the only thing about Mario Land that I'm of two minds about nope. is that it's, like, part of me doesn't like it because it's so... What the fuck? <laughs> part of... <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with the with the running thing. If you try to run, you'll just run straight off the edge because, like, the, the jumping isn't responsive enough. I uh, stepped in a stupid tail. God damn There's like a weird Sphinx thing. Game over. You game over. Give me that. No. You've lost your... It's just because I messed up on, the, on the, the thing at the beginning. Keith, this game is supposed to take 35 minutes to beat. Yeah, so it'll take five minutes longer. All right. It, it's really short. It's got... Basically three levels. It's It's got three worlds, and each world has like three levels. So it's like nine? Two? And then there's like two extra, so I think there's like 11 levels or something. Um... It's part of me doesn't like it because it's so different from other Mario games, but I do like how weird it is because weirdness is my favorite thing about old Mario games. 
So I like some of the weirdness. I don't like some of how it plays differently. I love how the music restarts every time you come out from the pipe. Yeah. Is this one? I fucking hate how when you get the star, it plays like... What is that? What is that? Like, I can't remember. Ah, uh, something. God damn it. I don't remember what this is, but I hate it. I hate this music, and I hate that it's in a Mario game. I hate everything about it. It's weird that they chose not... Like, they chose to make... To use... Like, music that isn't... Yeah. Original. I mean... Cause I, I get... I get it because it is a very fast song, and it didn't, like it's like, ah, oh, when, when this song's playing, you're moving quickly, and when you get a star, you just fucking run. In fairness, when this game came out, the only other Mario games that were really around were, like, Mario Brothers 1 and 2. What is that? <laughs> Don't do that. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there was Super Mario Brothers 1 and 2, so there wasn't as much precedent for, like, what should happen, or, like, what you should hear when you get a power star, or, like, whatever. But still, fucking, eh. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna... so, see, that's one of the problems with the game, is, like, I jumped up, and then was like, now I go over and jump on that guy, and, and you didn't work. And you didn't work. But it's it's partly because of this old-ass controller, too. It's not Whoa. entirely this is an old-ass controller. No, it's not, dude. That is, like, that is a great Super Nintendo controller. The membranes in that are brand new for the most part. Like, I took all the best pieces out of all the Super Nintendo controllers I could find and put them all into that one, and then gave it new buttons. That is, like, one of the best Super the Nintendo controllers. Great. The not great. And I'm not saying it's not one of the best Super Nintendo controllers. Unfortunately, it's, it's still a Super Nintendo controller. I forgot that the, I was playing the game it, and I looked at you well. I was supposed to be jumping. Okay, in fairness, you're right. The D-pad isn't great. Unfortunately, it is the best Super Nintendo D-pad I've been able to find. Yeah. Uh, okay. What are you looking up? Are you looking up something about Gunpei Yokoi? No, I'm looking up, uh... Can you just say his name again for me? Gunpei Yokoi. Thank you. Uh... Uh-oh. I took off the keyboard, but... I think the thing still thinks it has a Shit. keyboard, so it's not bringing up the software keyboard. Wikipedia, I'm going to. Wait, let's pause it while you do that, because I have to send a text message. Okay. So you can have the information ready. Alright, we're back. Keith, I have terrific news for you. Tell me. Super Mario Land was produced by Gunpei Yokoi. But not designed by Gunpei Yokoi. Uh, it was, he was involved. You it was there. directed by Satoru Okada. I don't want to test it out. I'm pretty sure that if you stand on this, he, might, he will come out and just Just do it. I just fucking to. test it. We need to know. This is for science. Mario science. See, you're wrong. I'm wrong. I never knew that it wouldn't come out. You're I never, fool. ever knew that. You're a fool. See if they stop coming out if you just stand next to them, though, because that's a thing. Like, on the thing, but next to it? But I'm pretty sure this was just made by two people. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just made by Yokoi and Okada. Pretty sure. You really put a spin on that and, Okada name. And, uh... The music not produced by Koji Kondo, which is another thing. Because he's the guy who did, like, all the Mario music for quite a while. Um... Let's see here. Reviews of the game were generally favorable. The game drove initial sales of the Game Boy and has sold over 18 million copies in total. That's a pretty good amount. Super Mario Land was also the first game of the Super Mario series produced by Gunpei Yokoi, who previously produced Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., and Mario Brothers. Here you go. Hmm. Plot. One day, a mysterious... <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, wait, let's... It's not quite the, uh... It's not the princess in another castle, it's just that it just Daisy is just a butt. So he's, he's trying to rescue Princess Daisy in this game rather than Peach or Toadstool. So it's the first appearance of Daisy. It's kind of weird. It's like Luigi. It's like he's still... I, I'm assuming he's getting with... Oh, by the way, aliens. Oh, by the way, this is the second best Mario music. <laughs> yeah, this game, this music is awesome too. Don't touch those fish, they will wreck you. Oh, shit. Also, don't hold the run button all the time. Don't hold the run button ever in this game, I'm telling this you. This is the only Mario game where I'm constantly holding a run button. You play things so wrong. I like the shading on the sides of those hill things. It, it's like vaguely Yoshi's Island-esque. I agree. 
Okay, plot. One day, a mysterious alien named Tatanga, Tatanga. appears and hypnotizes the inhabitants of By the way, Sarasa what I, Land. Sorry, what I just did was the most racist way to say Tatanga ever. Keith, this game takes place in Sarasa Land. What does that mean? It's just where the game takes place. I'm... Why are there still mushrooms here? It appears... <laughs> It appears and hypnotizes the inhabitants of Sarasa Land, including Daisy. He kidnaps Princess Daisy in order to marry her. Right. What could he possibly want with Princess Daisy other than to marry her? Cook. Mario then sets out to rescue her from Tatanga, traveling through the four ge geographical areas of Sarasa Land and defeating Tatanga's minions along the way, as well as finding the monsters that pretend to be Daisy in order to fool Mario. Mario finally corners Tatanga, and, uh, well, I guess I won't read the rest of that, because it's a bit of a spoiler. There's no spoilers in this game. Uh, there's a little bit. I, I could spoil something if I wanted. If someone hasn't played Mario Land to completion. Which I hadn't until recently. Shit. I can't even think of what you're spoiling. Well, it's, it's... Yeah, don't, for, don't worry about it. Do, 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 do. Electronic Gaming Monthly gave this a 7.75. Deservedly. GameSpot gave it an 8.3. Mean Machines gave it a 90%. So. So Mean Machines knows what the fuck they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Mean Machines clearly had your back. Uh, All Game gave it a 4 out of 5. The game rankings uh, meta score is 74.2. I've never been hit one by one of those bombs, ever. And it just happened? Yeah. By the way, love the explosion on that thing. Anyways, like I said, game ranking meta score is 74.2%. Meaning that that's like an aggregate of like all the reviews that they calculated at the time. Which like, yeah, this game's like a 74. It's like, hey, it's like Mario, but it's in your pocket, but it's not that good. And it's five minutes long, 74. I think it's very good. It's... That's a pretty big price. I don't know what this game cost when it came out. It was out. like 40 bucks. Yeah, that's a pretty big price for a game. That 40, 40 bucks in 1989 dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah. This one's a bitch. Ah! Yeah, I fucked it up. I'm not good at that one. I can do it on my 3DS pad. This game is impossible to play on the 3DS, so oh, really? I'm pretty I sure I you're a mutant. I, it's I mean, the easiest to play on the Game Boy. The D-pad is... I don't know. The D-pad on, like, the D-pad on my, uh, Game Boy Pocket, and granted, it has been worn the fuck out, but it is so bad. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a pocket. They were, they were subpar to the color anyway. Oh, wait. You, oh, so you're saying you're playing this thing on a color. You know what? The Game Boy Advance SP probably is the way to play it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the one. By the way, I'm still... I'm still mad about the uh, the Game Boy Advance Micro, or whatever it was called. Oh, what a piece of garbage. God, that, like every time I think about the Game Boy Advance, I think about that. And it makes really? Me yeah. That's weird. Well, it was... I, I think of like the SP, and I was like, man, that thing was great. And then I like thinking about how, how horribly it could have gone with the Micro. Was that what that was thing, the Micro? The Micro, yeah. It gave me headaches. You had one? Uh, Taylor had one. The, one he... the guy that stole your NES, he liked that thing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he did. That's how fucking bad of a person Taylor Johnson was. He liked the Game Boy Micro. And not the NES. No. I'm gonna die. But I think he did buy the Game Boy Advance re-release of the NES game Super Dodgeball, which made him a pretty smart person in that one instance. Because that game's sick. Wait, what, what game? Super Dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a, it is a, it is a 8-bit noise. I love that noise so much. But I think, I think it would be a spoiler to that, that this Mario game in, in includes, like, shooter sections. Oh. Like, I had never even gotten to that because I only played this game as a little kid who didn't own this. So, like, I never even got there. So when I found out, like, years later that there were, like, side-scrolling shooter sections in this game, yeah, I was like, weird, what the right? fuck? It's super weird. It's super weird. Super Mario Land, more like Super Weird Land, super right? Weir super Weird Zone. Oh, Daisy, you're an octopus. Gah! Yeah. 
Yeah, but when I was playing this off camera, I had nine lives by like the second level. <laughs> playing playing while we're recording this really does change literally everything. Yeah, sure. Because when you hand me the controller and you go like, this is the game you brag about, go play it. I'm like, duh! Those still come out when you stand on them. Yeah. Got but I really like that. I like how funny that is. Like, instead of a piranha plant, it's a fucking bullet bill thing. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, me too. I think it's fucking hilarious. Like, it, weird Moai heads. Weird. Weird. Like, I think, in, probably in a good way. I think that's a that's a kind of weird I can get behind. I'm like, it, there's Moai heads in a Mario game. I don't and know why. And it's an alien planet, and there's, like, hieroglyphics on the walls in some of the levels. I like how there's, like... All those coins go that lead you to your death. Let's see here. Uh, Hiroshi Yamauchi, then president of Nintendo, wanted a Mario game to That's be on the suck. Game Boy and ordered Yokoi to create the game with his development you team. You do this! Nintendo R&D 1. Alright, so it was made by R&D 1. Have you, do you see those little running guys? I hate those guys. Oh yeah, those guys are assholes. <laughs> those are, <laughs> they just come out of nowhere and they're like, hey! They're the hardest enemy in any 2D Nintendo game. I That's going a bit far. What's harder than that? Um, Meta Ridley. Or just Ridley. Scott? In like Super Metroid? No, Mario game. You said Nintendo. I said Mario. You said Nintendo. I meant Mario. All right, well, I'm just telling you what you said. And, uh... I forgot about the fucking... And movement. Hammer Brothers in uh, Mario 1, way fucking harder. I don't think so. You're wrong. Because they come out of nowhere and they run at you. You just jump they over them. They just fucking them. charge you. You just jump over them. You don't need they to kill them. They charge your ass, like a rhino. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That was pretty good. Those things suck. When I was a kid, I fucking I had no idea what to do with these. I was like, surely you don't hop on a boulder. Man, this song's pretty good. Yeah, this song's great. Again, we've mentioned it before. I can't remember the guy's name, but there's like a a, a ragtime musician that does a sight unseen. It's uh Tom something. Tom, yeah, it's Tom something. Tom, come on, what Tom what? I just I keep wanting to say Tom Martin, but that's a no. He's a writer, a comedy writer. Tom that follows me on Twitter for no reason. Have I talked about this? No. Tom Martin, writer on shows like SNL and The Simpsons, follows me on Twitter. I can't <laughs> I can't imagine why. Maybe he just saw one of your jokes and was like, "Hey, that kid's funny." I don't. But like, where would he have seen it? Someone else who retweeted it. No, but he doesn't follow anybody that follows me. Maybe he follows someone who follows someone who follows someone who follows you. And it just like... Because remember that, you can get retweets from people that don't even follow... That don't even follow you because they just see it from someone else who retweeted it. I guess, but I... I don't know. I, I'll add that. He's really funny. And he's, he's written some... He's like got like Emmys for writing comedy and he follows me on Twitter. It's very strange. Whatever. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you know what we didn't do? Record our YouTube reacts lines. Oh, let's do that right now while we're playing. That's funny. That is funny. Hey, don't die, asshole. I was looking at So we were you. wrong. They're not three worlds. There's four worlds with three levels each making 12 levels. I didn't even see that fucking spider. Dude. Dude. Well, because I'm listening to you. All right, whatever. If, if you get a game over and we have to start restart, it's fine because it's such a short game. But I don't want you to. Well, do you want to play? Sure. Here you go. All right. You're done? Yeah, I have to go to the bathroom, by the way, so this is a good time to pause it. All right. Finally back. Playing. By the way, worth mentioning, um, the configuration on the Super Nintendo controller with the buttons yeah. is it's the same as the Game Boy, which is that they put the They a switched A and B, even though they invented it. <laughs> well, no, they didn't switch them. They left them in the same spot, but they raised the A button up. So, like... Now it's super hard to hold down run and and then jump. Oh, sorry. When I say they switched A and B, I meant A should be the bottom most button. Yeah. Well, that hadn't 
you know, there was no precedent for there that. There was no precedent, yeah, but they should have known. But the precedent was set by fucking Super Mario World. The goddamn launch game for the Super Nintendo was like, actually, you should use the left button for, like, your primary action and then, like, the bottom button for, like, the thing that you do the most. So, I, I realize primary action and thing you do the most. <laughs> well, oh, you should use the leftmost you're button. You're using uh, primary action and thing you do the most. Thing that you do the most in Mario is jump. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. In most other games, the thing you do the most is the primary action. Now I'm confused. A is jump. Unless you're... I finally started playing Maya's Mata again for serious. For serious? Yeah. How serious? Well, because what happened was... Um, I, when I built my new computer earlier this year, I like spent a long time making sure that I wasn't losing any save files for any games like making sure that everything was preserved what's up? I don't have my headphones I'm they're just right, sitting on they're right here I spent a long time making sure that I wasn't going to lose any save files but then I still did anyways Maismata being one of them because it it hid the save file in, app, in oh, app data oh in app data? which is a hidden folder in your user folder in Windows I have no idea why it would hide my save file from me. It's ludicrous. Did any other games do that? Dark Souls. So like one or two. There's only one. Oh, sorry. I was thinking uh, Dark Siders. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It makes. By the way, it makes perfect sense that Dark Souls would do that. Wow. I'm 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 wasting all these lives. Yeah, dude, I did the same thing. That's like the number one jam in this game is dying by like immediately respawning and dying again. There are really forgiving checkpoints in this game, though. Yes, that is true. You basically, you respawn one screen back from the screen you died on. Oh, wait, do mushrooms come out of these ones? No. Um, when you're big, sometimes they have money. The, just the, the jump, it's just nothing like Mario... But I think it's a really nice games. jump. It's yeah, it's a fine jump. I think it's, it's really just, easy pr to predict where you're gonna land. It's just a, a big part of being successful at Mario is using instincts that you've built up over time. Yeah, and I and, guess and I built up instincts aren't... in this game, and you build up instincts in other games. Yeah, but this game is inherently better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I mean it inherently. By the way, that uh, I I've been taking precautions not touching any of the animals uh, that you have at this house. Uh-huh. Um, and like, can you hear the difference in my voice now that I that your dog licked my arm and I touched its head? Yeah. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I washed my hands and my face. I washed all my parts. Did you, uh, did you wash down there? Yeah, every like, time. That's the, mo that's the most important. You can't wash your hands without washing your junk. <laughs> that's just science. I mean, you can, but why would you? <laughs> hate this music. Really? Ah. I think it's catchy. Oh, I hate I, it's it. It's the worst music in this game. Yeah. But it's not the worst Mario music at all. Ah, it's up there. It's down there. Do you, want, you want to edit me blowing my nose out or leave it in? I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> and I'm back. I still sound the same. I still sound like a nasally motherfucker. Ah! Uh, Why'd you do that? Give me that. I tried to move forward and it didn't go because the controls in this are fucking shit. I was having an easy time of it. Give me that. No. You, you played the entire game. I mean, yeah, but you've played the entire game. I'm continuing. Okay. No, 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 no. I mean, like, you've played I the... I you had to continue. I'm sorry. No, I was saying you have played the entire time that we've been playing this game except for, like, the last five minutes. That's true. But you managed to lose nine lives. On hey, you, one you, level. you game over it on one two. Shut up. That's yeah, but come on. That's uh, different. That was different. Is it different? I only how? had two lives then and you have you had nine lives. And only played half the level. Listen, I So so actually it's not um whatever, it's not New Super Mario World or whatever the fuck. 
is the first appearance of Cat Mario. It's actually Mario Land. Because he had nine okay. lives. <laughs> It's like a Cat Mario in the new Mario game or something. I saw it, yeah. Whoa. Nice. That was a that was that was about as deft as you can possibly be in, in Mario Land. I can be pretty deft in this game. When, you, when you're editing this, you go through, you see that I was fucking running through these levels. Lightning speed. All right. Whoa. Hey. Oh, I forgot about this. God damn it. What? That you can jump on those those things and kill them. Oh yeah, they just explode. No no no, the the spiders that come down from the ceiling, oh, you can kill them. I thought you were talking about the the. Are they Koopas? I don't I don't know. I like because... how their, their head is an eye. Oh, well it's got a mouth too. Come on, man. It's alright, you're almost out, and then you can get the uh, bonus. Probably. If you're good. If you've got a 1 in 4 chance of at least getting one extra life. You see? I'll get us back to this point you can play again. Keith. What? You already played the beginning of the game. Why would you want to play it a second time? So that we can get, it, get through it faster. Because, I mean, you should edit this part out. Nah. No? This is already going to be, like, one episode. What, why are we talking about this? I don't know. I just... I wanted to talk about Miasmata. Alright, talk about Miasmata. There's bananas. Is that it? Is that all you got? Well, no. There's also a map. Alright. And you fill out the map. No, it's... I, I spent a really long time... Like... I was really upset that I lost my Miles Mana save. More, probably more upset than is reasonable. No, because no? I spent a ton of time in that game, like wandering around and filling out my map. Really? And like, yeah, like 40 hours I have in that game. Oh, so I didn't know that you lost 40 hours. Yeah, and then that was all gone. I thought that all that you had done was the marathon. Oh, no, no, I played a ton of that game. Okay, then yeah. never mind. Then you're right there. Yeah. That. I thought it was like the three hours. I thought it was like... The, the two hours that we did it in the marathon, and then maybe a couple more hours. Nope, I love Miasmata. It's a fucking great game. It's just so, it's so peaceful. It's so relaxing. Putting on a, a podcast and playing Miasmata, it's, it's a little bit of heaven right there. I've been playing... Actually, wait. One last thing is, I, I found recently that um a great pairing for Miasmata in terms of podcasts is Sawbones. The medical podcast that yeah, I've got to listen to Justin that. McElroy does with his uh, wife who's a doctor because it's all about like archaic medicine and like you know like drilling holes in people's heads and stuff like that because that's like Miasmata is all about like old medicine like Miasmata like refers to the miasma theory of medicine which is like a totally outdated theory that was around I don't know shit you get the worst one I did the exact same thing I know by the way, I got a game over in 1-3, you jackass. Right. Which is totally legitimate. There are parts of that game that... No, that it's not. That are, no, it's yeah, not. it is. Ah! Why did I just walk into that? Oh, man, I haven't checked my Neptune's Pride, like, in like in hours. What does that mean? What are you doing? Oh, man. What is Neptune's Pride? Let's talk all about that. What is that? What it's that RTS that? that I told you about. Oh. Okay. So it's this free-to-play online RTS where it's it's essentially like the pace of the game is like a turn-based game because everything happens incredibly slowly but it's real time it's technically real time just like moving you like you have stars that you own it's like a 4x game shit what did you just do I tried to jump and it didn't jump that's weird because that's what happens like th it's there's not just... what happens I think you're just shitty at this game dude you did the same thing I've done, I, but at least I jumped and fell short. I didn't just walk. No, you you did do that. But because that's off, what happens when you play Super Mario Land. When I walked off, it wasn't because I jumped and it didn't work. It's because I just didn't jump. No, it's because, like, you don't, it's because you don't jump in time because there's a, there is more of a delay on your jump in this game than you would imagine from past Mario games. So you go to jump and it's too late and he's already fallen off the cliff. But that's not... 
true for me because I this is my past Mario game. Whatever. I know what I saw. I I, I can't do this. I'll do it. Ah, eh, close That's enough. That's fine. What are they talking about? It's really hard to be good at that. Like I'm pretty good. Yeah, that thing is like, weird. Either way, you you have a one in one in three. Sorry, three and four chance of getting an up next one. That's obscene. We don't do that here. This is a family program. Yeah, you don't even know what I was doing. One, this is a program. Two, this is a family program. Was I talking about something? My Asmata, but barely. I don't know. I always expect that one to fall too, but it doesn't ever. Never, never. Like you keep playing this game, thinking this, this game time it's gonna fall. Of times and it's never once fallen. What an asshole! Yeah, <laughs> that brick sucks. Or is it a revolutionary? You jump farther if you're running when you jump. Do you know that about Mario? <laughs> yeah, I think I remember that. Man, I don't remember at all what I was saying. Myasmata. I don't think so. I think it was old medicine. Something else. No. Outdated medicine theory. Nope. It was something completely different. It wasn't. What else do you want to talk about, though? You had more stuff. Oh, I know what we're talking about. Oh. I know what I was about to talk about. What? Um, that you you were listening. First of all, yeah, totally the last thing you were talking about was putting on sawbones and outdated medicine theory. That's you, there was something else after that. No, you just gotta jump over it. Yeah. Well, you can kill it if you want. Yeah, but that's a fool's errand. <laughs> <laughs> um.